Firmall 10 incorporates many new improvements to the tool database functionality. The first of these improvements is increased tool type support for the database. We can now add both form tools and routing tools to the database. In this example project I have a single form tool defined. As you can see it has a complex tip definition with a compound angle and I have a routing tool defined which has a semicircular concave section. So I'm going to add these tools to the database by simply selecting both of them and right click add selected tools to database as the same as in previous versions and now if I open my database search form I can do a search based upon those new two tool types so I'm going to select routing tool and do a search and there we can see the single routing tool I added earlier. You'll also notice the new preview window down the right hand side. This gives us a preview of the total tool assembly including the holder and this will show the currently selected tool in the search results window. As well as improved tool type support, there has also been improvements in the type of shank definition that is supported in the tool database. Going back to our example project, here we have an example of a complex shank with four components and three of those components being tapered. Now in version 9 of PowerMill and previous versions uh, of the tool database, this type of shank definition would not be supported uh, by the tool database and you would not be allowed to add this tool to the database because of this complex shank. This limitation has been lifted in version 10 uh, of PowerMill and now the shank can consist of any number of components and any one of those components can be either tapered or straight section. Just to show you that, if we right click on our tool and add tool to database, the tool is added successfully without any complaints and again we can do a search for that tool. So this time I'm going to do a search on the name of the tool which is complex shank in this case and we're going to change the search to all tool types and there we can see the complex shank. You will also notice on the tool database search form there is a new section for defining the holder. In previous versions of PowerMill you could only add a tool holder to the database that was associated with a tool. In version 10 of PowerMill the tool holder can now be independent of the tool and we can this means we can now mix and match different tools and different holders to give us our ideal tool assembly. To have a look at this function in action if we change our tool type to ball nose tools and do a search we'll just remove the search string for the name and reapply the search there we can see a list of all the ball nose tools in my tool database if I want to do a search for tools that have holders associated with them then on the holder definition here I just select tools holder and there we can see tools that have holders associated with them. If I did not want to uh, use that holder that is associated with the tool then I have the choice to specify no holder or alternatively I can specify any holder that exists in my database. This is the most useful uh, option and it allows me to pick from the complete list of holders that exist in my database 
and obviously choose the most suitable combination. Once I've selected the holder I want to use and I can just simply create that tool and holder in PowerMill. If I have a tool in PowerMill that doesn't contain a holder, for example this complex shank, and I want to add a holder from my database to this tool, then I can do this from the tool settings form on the holder tab we have a new option to search the database for holders. Here again I get access to the full list of holders from my database and I can cycle through them and choose the most suitable holder. If I need to specify a minimum diameter for the holder this shank has an upper diameter of 25 so I need to specify a minimum holder diameter of at least 25. Then I can do a search based upon that diameter. And there we can see I only have one holder available to me in the database. At the moment the holder is positioned at the very tip of the tool. This is because I have no overhang defined for the holder. So if I just change my overhang to 70 you can see the holder moves into the correct position. Uh, when I'm happy with my choice I can simply apply the holder and the holder is added to the current tool in PowerMill.